Hey guys, this is Beast here. Today going to see about Michael D. Santa from GTA 5 is a professional killer with years of experience, which is what makes him dangerous to his enemies. Although several GTA 5 characters comment on how out of shape Michael seems to be, he holds himself up well for a middle-aged man. After all, he starts the game with the most stamina out of the three protagonists. With his skills in shooting targets, he can put a bullet through anyone's brain. Michael starts GTA 5 with an awful marriage life, which means he has to take out his deep-seated frustrations. Somehow. Unfortunately for his enemies, they provide him with stress relief. Whether it's a bank heist or teaching someone a lesson in manners, Michael D. Santa is a force to be reckoned with. He protects his daughter. Despite friction within his family, he cares deeply about them. He is especially protective of his daughter Tracy. Whether it's beating up one of her stalkers or preventing her from getting involved with pornographers, Michael usually has the best interests for her, even if she doesn't agree with it. The most notable examples of his protective nature towards Tracy are the two missions involving Los La Jones. During the events of fame or shame, Michael chases the washed up celebrity host after he makes advances on Tracy. Despite his humiliation at the hands of Michael, Lazlo doesn't take the hint. During the mission reuniting the families, Michael has to teach Lazlo how to treat women properly. After seeing Lazlo urge Tracy to perform sexual acts on him, Michael embarrasses him even further with forcible tattoos and piercings. The lesson being, never mess with a man's daughter. He kills Rocco Pelosi. Rocco Pelosi was a hated character in the ballad of Gay Tony, given his racist attitude and unlikable personality. Unfortunately, GTA players never get the chance to personally kill him in the game. Instead, he fled from Liberty City to Los Santos to start a bet down that is satisfying to watch. Michael later kills him in the aptly titled ballad. The very least, Rocco's death is the perfect send-off for such a despised GTA 4 character. He will certainly not be missed by anyone. He saves his family from mercenaries. Devon Weston is simply the worst. Michael and his son Jimmy were looking forward to their anticipated movie premiere where Devon brought some bad news. It turns out he sent his mercenaries after the remaining family members of the De Santa residence in retaliation for a mistaken murder. Michael only has two minutes to take out entire waves of enemy mercenaries. Despite the strict time limit and overwhelming forces, Michael prevails and saves his family. His son even saves him from a mercenary. The family is finally together. After everything they've been through. Ultimately, his family was more important than an insipid movie premiere. On the bright side, the movie was successful enough to warrant a sequel. He robs the Union Depository. The biggest heist in GTA 5 is a historical landmark in criminal activities. Michael and a highly experienced crew must steal $200 million in gold. The Union Depository is heavily guarded on all fronts, which is what makes it a dangerous place to rob. Michael, however, is determined. Should the GTA player take a subtle approach, Michael will show his kindness through bribing a security guard instead of killing him outright. Meanwhile, the Obvious approach involves Michael distracting cops and drawing attention to himself. He makes it out alive either way. For all his hard work, Michael receives a huge payout. It ranges anywhere from $35 million, subtle approach, to $45 million, obvious approach, in terms of maximum revenue. He finally gets revenge on Devin Weston. After everything the corrupt billionaire put Michael and his family through, GTA 5 players couldn't wait to get their hands on Devon. When Franklin chooses option C in the final mission, he gets Michael and Trevor to work together to finish off their remaining enemies, including Devon. Once all his security details are taken care of, Devon is left at the mercy of the GTA player. He was bound, gagged, stripped naked, and stuffed into the trunk of a car. At the side of a cliff, Michael sarcastically thanks him for everything. Before Devon is sent crashing to his death. With all their enemies gone, Michael can finally retire peacefully with his family. He ultimately found what he was looking for, a loving family to care for. Hey guys. Wait. 
If you like the video make sure to like and subscribe to Beast Clone. I am. Your Beast, you are my clones. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hush.